Hi everyone, this is Mingyao from Singularity Engineering. And this is the first in a series of presentations I'll be doing about uh, bioreactors. In this first one, I'm going to create a bioreactor model from scratch, just to show you how easy it is to do this type of stuff in space claim. So I'm going to start by taking a quick screenshot of a bioreactor. This can be a blueprint, a schematic, or anything. And then I'm going to go into Ansys Space Claim and start drawing this. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, oh, let's, uh, let's let's go on this this plane here. We'll create a sketch plane, and then uh, let's kind of place it right in the middle there. Okay, so that's that is a picture, and then we'll just kind of sketch out the picture. So I'm going to um, sketch the picture. And uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the actual size of this right now, as long as we get the scale right. Uh, holding on Shift here allows me to set this right in the middle here. So that's my tank. Do a pull. And we'll do a revolve around the center. Okay. So let's put this in a component, call this the tank. Then we want the paddle. So you can hold on shift to get this accurate. And then shift. Okay. Then we'll do a um, get rid of the kind of the duplicate area. Pull this, do a revolve around the center, and then let's create a paddle. So the hold down shift allows you to go anywhere, and then so that's kind of about how big the paddle is. Uh, so let's do maybe half a centimeter like that. Are roughly the right size. So there'll be six Russian turbines. Actually, let's go back one here. Um, actually, we can do it. Go forward. Okay. Gonna. Oops. Now I'm gonna hide the image and make this um, cylindrical. So we're gonna use this and say we want six of them. So that's our turbine, we have a tank, and I think all we need to do now, let's put this in a separate component. Uh, we need our baffles and our sparger. So let's uh, go ahead and draw those in. And lastly, we'll scale everything. Okay, so roughly the same, and right there. We'll select these, and I'll just move this over. Okay, there you go, and we will get rid of our duplicates. We'll do half a millimeter just like the turbines and then uh, get six of them in place. Revolve around this. We'll do six of them as well. And finally, we just need the sparger. Center is right about there. 
So let's go ahead and do it's a ring sparter, so I'm thinking something like this. Do a quick revolve around the center of the turbine. Oh, I think I didn't do that quite correctly. Let's go ahead and there we go. Okay, uh, so this particular vessel has uh, 12 holes. That's uh, one to two millimeters in diameter. So let's go ahead and draw a hole on this. And we should probably do it after we've scaled everything. This may be a bit thick, so I'm not sure how thick this uh, sparger is, but this is probably too thick. So let's make it more like this. Okay. So I think that's it. We don't need our image anymore. Um, now we're going to use uh, use the vol use the enclosure tool. So let's be the custom shape. We're going to select everything inside of this. Oh, we should need to include the patterns too here. Let's include all of these things, and the shape of the enclosure will be that. So when it's done, we have a enclosure. That's it. So let's, uh, no, this is done. So I'm going to select all of these and uh, move everything to a new component. Call it the old stuff we don't need and we'll suppress this for physics. So this is the enclosure. Now we need to make it the right size. So we know the diameter should be 260 millimeters, right? So this is uh, 34. So we're going to go 280 divided, 140 divided by 34.95. It's just about four. So let's go ahead and scale that. I'm going to go to pull, select the point, select the part. Put in a number so you can start typing in, and it'll be about four. And if we click on it, it's 140 millimeters almost exactly. So the last thing we need to do is add in the holes for the sparger. Uh, we're going to use the control button and sketch on this surface. Uh, sparger is about a, a millimeter. So I'm going to do uh, one millimeter in diameter sparger. Okay. So we want to uh, imprint this, project this. Let's see what's going on here. So it's projecting this on both the top and the bottom. That's fine because we can just go ahead and uh, do a fill on this. So with the top sparger, oh, that's how we needed to do. Let's see, so there's still a little surface that we've created. So we will use the option to um, revolve around this. And just like before, we want six of these things. So let's go ahead and do that. For the next step, we're going to create the rotational domain. These um, turbines will be turning. They'll be spinning. So we will create a region that defines the rotational domain. I'm going to go into sketch mode and move this up to somewhere between the turbines. Um, Let's take a look at this. And then I'm going to draw a circle. This will be our rotational domain. That's going to be larger than the turbine. Maybe try to get plenty of buffer space between the turbine and the walls. We're going to pull this upwards, like so. 
Oh, uh, we want to do an add. So we add in this section, and if we make this uh, uh, if we go into display and make this transparent, we can see the inside. So it's a little bit high. Uh, we can always move it down a little bit. Okay, so that'll be our rotational domain. Um, to do that, we're going to use the combine. I'm going to cut this part out, and that's it. So now our enclosure is in two parts. There's the fluid, do the rotational domain, as well as the stationary domain to delete the turbine. Uh, this is. Uh, we can go ahead and run the simulation now. This area will spin. The top will. Uh, we can have sparging from the holes specified there, uh, but this is a could be a big model. So what we can do is uh, we can start with just a quarter of it. So let's say, so we will start with something like this. Copy and paste this one, and rotate this by 60 degrees. Okay, so we can need to keep one of these sectors. I'm thinking we'll keep this one, so let's start splitting. Split this using this, get rid of that. Then we'll do split this with this, get rid of that. Then we do a split all of this with this. Those two, and now we have a sector of the model, so it'll be like this. We have a sparger on the bottom, we have our turbine, and we have our baffle. Probably should have done this earlier, but you can see that our z axis doesn't, our rotational axis doesn't quite line up with the global axis. We can certainly use it as it is, but let's make it a little bit easier for us. So let's uh, do a move, and we're going to put the this here and we're going to move this up to the global axis okay double check if we click on this point you can see that it, the x and y plane is zero and z is at minus 94 so everything's lined up and we're ready to run some simulations mm -hmm.